Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a free Scribble Effects Pack from Cinepax, and we're going to go jump into Resolve and uh, mess around with it and see what we can come up with. So to get these free packs, you want to head over to cinemapacks.com and click on the free pack section and add the Scribble Effects Pack to your cart. Then slide on over to the checkout and just enter in all your information and proceed to checkout and you're good. You're set to download it for free. Alright, so once you have the zip file downloaded, just go ahead and double click on it to unzip it. And then we will go ahead and drag it into whatever project file you have. So I have one right over here. So I'm going to go ahead, go in here. As you can see, there's about six MOV files that we can mess with. So I'm going to go ahead and drag those out of the zip file so we can extract them. Um, and let's go ahead and import it into DaVinci. Alright, so here in DaVinci, I got a small little project set up. So let's go ahead and import those new scribble effects that we just got. So I'm going to go over here into our media pool and click Control I to import, uh, probably Command I on a Mac. And once you find the location of your files, go ahead and select them all and open. All right, so now that we have them in DaVinci, let's start messing around with them. In my timeline here, I got a little DJ here uh, with a cool DJ sound box. So why don't we go ahead and start with the basic circle here that you can see. If you double click on these, these are actually all completely transparent. So when I drag it onto the timeline, you can see that it does not show the black background. So it's super easy to just layer on top of anything that you're compositing and you can do it instantly. So let's just go ahead and move this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on our little transform box right here and scale it down. And let's just do a basic emphasis on our box here. Nothing, nothing crazy. We just wanna bring a little bit of attention to it. We can give it a little bit of rotation there. And if we go ahead and play, you have a basic little circle there we can mess with. Now, what might be fun is why don't we track that in? So if we want to, we can, let's go ahead and Give us some room, close that, and open our inspector here. All right, so there's our inspector. Now if we want to, let's go to our transform here and just keyframe that. So let's go a few frames at a time. Um, I'm going to try to track it right there, and I'm just gonna do it by hand, just a few frames at a time, and just move it right there. Go forward a little bit, as you can see, it kind of swings around. I'm just keeping it on the center circle, right on top of that knob right there. Let's go a little bit more, slides up a little bit, go a few more, slide it that way, and we should be done any second here. Slide that up there, and let's go ahead and watch that, and it looks pretty nice. Now let's say you wanted to change the color of any of these scribble effects. Um, I'm just going to grab the clip and just go over to the color tab and there's plenty of different things that you can do in here But the fastest way that works for me is to just go to our color warper and grab the center of that And this will give you full control over the hue Saturation luminance all of that so you can just kind of drag that around to whatever color that you want so I can kind of just drag this over to kind of a reddish pink over here. Um, and I'll go over here, do some fine adjustments to give it a little bit more saturation right about there and give it a little bit more of a red tint to it and brighten it up just a tad. And I think it looks pretty good right around there. Um, but I think overall for this, we're going to try to keep it at white. So I'm just going to reset that um, because I think just with the blue and everything, the white contrasts pretty well for this video. Um, but let's keep going here. Why don't we go ahead and try this cool effect out, which is a little bit of a spiral here that we can just kind of twist around whatever we want. So let's go ahead, come over to the circle, hold shift to just move it onto an upper layer and go ahead and drag this underneath it. And we'll put that right there. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the other one. I'm gonna grab this hit on the little transform there and scale this down and I'm gonna have it wrap around this cool metal beam right here because it's so cool and we want to emphasize it for some reason just just go with it alright so let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit line it up the best that we can right around there let's go ahead go a little bit forward so we can kind of see the full size of it and line it up better and that looks pretty decent right there so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the circle just click the transform 
and let's just go a few frames forward at a time and just try to track it by hand so just kind of have just have a relative idea of where everything is supposed to be and move it there by hand the best that you can so we're gonna go right right there whoops didn't want to grab that and go a few more by hand and we're gonna go right there and move it up just a tad and see how it looks perfect that looks really nice now let's go backwards a few frames and see if it all looks good there as well and move this down just a tad and I think it looks fine so let's go ahead and play that through so we got that cool little thing and then it spirals through right there and it's looking pretty cool but let's get into some more exciting things here we have this awesome square where we can do a little picture in picture here let's click on this square and you can do all sorts of different things match it however you want but let's go ahead and do a little picture in picture here to transition to our juggler right here so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this scale it down and where do we want to put it let's put it in this little corner here make it a little bit bigger so we can see everyone uh, almost eh, right, right about that size and let's give it just a little bit of a rotation as well and we're gonna take our juggler here um, so we're gonna need a few different layers to do that so let's take let's see I'm gonna go ahead and go into our source here and let's grab an extra clip of him juggling let's take this clip right here so I'm gonna drag that right underneath here let's go ahead and cut this with the blade tool which would be B all right and go ahead and delete this so I'm gonna scale this down go ahead and drag him over here and let's try to fit him inside this box just a little bit and we'll go ahead and crop it so if we just kind of play it through you can see he is juggling right there um now i think that looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and crop it now in davinci there's a few different ways that you can always mask and crop i'm gonna go ahead and go into our color page and let's grab do we have the right one this would be the right and let's just scroll forward a little bit grab the right clip which is this one and go over to our masks tab and let's make a little curve and just draw out a box around that this square perfect all right then now let's go ahead and we have our mask there but we actually need to get that mask into the output so go to our nodes here which you can open right there and right click and go down to add alpha output and drag your alpha output which is our mask to the output and voila there you go you have a perfect little mask there so let's go over back to the edit page and you can see that when this pops up it all kind of looks pretty nice and there we go we got a cool little sketch there coming in and it starts to disappear but I would rather just have uh, you can see it kind of sketches away but I would rather just have a solid jump cut to our juggler so let's do that so let's just kind of fold everything away and just have him pop up and there we go now we're on our juggler here we have our cool arrows that we haven't messed with yet so these we can keep pretty simple let's just drag like one or two of these out actually you know what let's just start with one I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and let's go back over here and let's just you know what I'm thinking you have jugglers so he's kind of juggling them in a circle however I'm not I don't really think that those going in a circle is gonna look pretty cool why don't we instead have the arrows coming down this way and we can go ahead click alt and drag and duplicate this layer let's try to even out these layers so they look the uh, same size and now that we have a duplicate we can go ahead and come over to our transform again and click flip all right let's close this out so we have a little more room here all right and now that we have it flipped over here let's just kind of have two arrows that are just pointing upwards to indicate a little bit of fun um and let's drag this out so you want to offset them a little bit so they come up at different times and there we go now you kind of have our little arrows kind of pointing up juggling 
And then why don't we add a little skull to his face? I'm pretty sure we have one of those in this pack as well. And here we go. All right, I want to add this skull. Let's track that onto his face over here a little bit more. Um, so once we drag it in, of course, we have to scale it down. Um, now the cool thing that we can do here, as you can see, it overlaps with these, these balls here. So the nice thing about these balls though, is they're super bright. They're like basically completely clipping, they're white. All right, so if we go ahead and grab our skull here and go to our composite mode in the inspector tab, let's go down to add, switch its blend mode to add. And what that'll do is take the brighter of the two compositions and it will basically take the lighter pixel of the two. So since the balls are lighter than this, you can see it'll blend really well with this. Not to mention if you, it'll look really cool over the um, kind of red and green traces of light that these, these are leaving behind. So why don't we go ahead and track this on. All right, and once you have that all tracked out, you should have something along that lines. A little, little bumpy, but good enough for now. Of course, if we're doing something more professional, we can spend a little bit more time, make sure it's a little bit smoother, but I think it looks pretty nice. All right, so the final thing I wanna mess with is these X's here. I kinda wanna place them over his eyes. I think they'd look really cool there. So as usual, drag them in, scale them down, and I'm gonna show you something, a cool little trick that you can do here. Uh, make sure you scale down the X before you do what I'm about to show you. So let's position it right there. That looks like a decent size, just a little bit bigger. All right, grab your footage and go into the color page. Now, if you take it into the color page here and go into your node editor, click Alt Y, and that's gonna split it into the RGB channels. Now, the cool thing that we can do here is we can go over to our, where is it? Our transform tab right here change it to our node sizing so it's affecting each node and we can just go over to the pan and tilt and we can just offset some of the channels right there and move them up and down and do it really slowly for for each one a little bit let's do the blue and red and you can see you get a really cool distorted rgb split there which you know I you know I'm gonna leave the yellow where it is so it matches the the we don't need any yellow colors in there let's try to match the rest of the scene there so if we go ahead and do that look at that it looks really sick um, so go back over to our edit tab here and you can just drag this down and now we have a really cool kind of glowing X that matches the rest of the surrounding scene so let's go ahead and track this on. Just like usual, I'll fast forward past this part so you guys you guys know how to track here. All right, and there we go. Now we got a cool little track right there. And we got that eyes as well, so super cool. I think I'm gonna go ahead and click on both of these and let's change them both to add again. That way they will overlap with the balls a little bit. And that looks pretty cool. All right, you guys, so there's our final product, just messing around with the scribble pack. Now, if you guys want access to more than just the six effects that we went over today, go ahead and head over to cinepacks.com and get the full scribble effects packs, which has over 300 hand-drawn animations where you can mess around and make all sorts of really cool things. It's only $29, but if you go to the cart and add sample15 as a promo code, you will get 15% off. So you just type in sample15 at checkout and you'll get 15% off the pack. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed everything and go ahead and mess around and have fun. Thanks guys and happy editing.